watched him fight over the years. Mm-hmm. His left hook is uh, impeccable. He's known to knock him out, put him down on the ground. Got 20, 29 wins, is it? Yeah, 29. 29 wins, only five losses. But the losses aren't like losses, losses. You know, it's, he went in there like a, like a gladiator. Really feared right now. A lot of people doubt him right now. They don't understand his full potential. When he's healthy, he's as great as any other champion that's walking in his division. Mm -hmm. Here to talk about his next fight with David Lemieux uh, from Canada on HBO Boxing After Dark this Saturday, March 11th at the Turning Stone Resort Casino in Verona, New York. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Curtis Stevens. Hey! What up, man? Hey, what's the word? How you been, bro? I've been good. I've been good. Yeah? I've been good, yeah. It's an exciting fight. You know, I've been doing my research. Uh, a lot of folks, I, it feels like a lot of folks are doubting that maybe perhaps you're going you're gonna to pull it through. Have you heard that at all? Um, I've been I've been noticing, like, what uh, some of the people have been saying. Like, you know, uh, they have Lemieux. They have they have Lemieux the favorite. Yeah. You know, um, but, you know, everyone has their own opinion, you yeah. know. Uh, only me and him can get in there come Saturday and fight. That's what's up, man. That's only you and Lemieux got to be in that ring, man. What your, talk about your beginners. Where did you start fighting? I uh, started fighting at the age of five mm -hmm. at Star City Boxing Club. My uncle took me to the gym. I believe just to, you know, mm -hmm. see how it was. Because he, he used to box, but he had high blood pressure, so he couldn't box no more. Mm -hmm. So I went to the gym, started. I uh, had my first fight when I was eight years old. I mm -hmm. had my first fight. I won. A couple more fights started knocking him out. Then I'm like, okay, you know. As you get older, I think I was about 10, 11. So I went to the Silver Gloves. I mm -hmm. won that. Then after that, once I started knocking them out, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you know, you're a kid. You're knocking other kids out. Yeah. It's cool. Then once I got the... Uh, you were knocking out 10-year-olds? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, the, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who does that? Yeah. Like with headgear on and the big gloves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Headgear on and uh, I think it was uh, 12, 12-ounce 12 mm -hmm. gloves at the time. No, 10s. It was 10-ounce gloves at the uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. As I got older, and they moved to the 12-ounce gloves. So um started knocking them out. <laughs> got in junior high school, winning, winning tournaments. When I got to high school, I think I fought my first. Uh, I fought my first. Wait, wait who, who's calling? Yeah. Who's calling? Who was that, man? Thank no, God. That's no. good. That's good. Oh, okay. You want to put them live on the air? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I fought my uh, first uh, open tournament. Uh -huh. That was the, the 2002 U.S. Championships. That was when I, I became, uh, I started fighting the men. Uh -huh. Like, you know, um, fought in that. And I won that. I'm like, okay, became number one in the uh, country. I'm like, oh, I could do this. Then just went from there. Just went from there, man. And the, and the, and the rest is history. Where did you grow up? Uh, Brownsville, Brooklyn. Brownsville, Brooklyn, man. <laughs> Come on. When you think about the fighters that came out of Brownsville, Brooklyn, man. Top five, would you say, is is who's top fighter out of Brownsville, would you say? Tyson. Tyson, Mike yeah. Tyson. And then? Uh, Zab Judah. Zab Judah. Mm. Well, you see yourself. Uh... After Riddick Bowl. After Riddick Bowl. Yeah. All right. Curtis Stevens is here, man. Um, I want to talk more about it and some of the fights you've had in the past. And then also I want to um, open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. Curtis Stevens is here. Sway the morning shade four five. Let's take on the Brownsville. Huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here at the... T-Mobile Arena by way of the MGM Grand. We go to the scorecards. Tim Cheatham scores at 98 to 90. Kermit Bayless has it 96-92. The same score from Dave Moretti, 96-92. All to the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBA Continental America's middleweight champion, Curtis, the Cerebral Assassin, Steven. Curtis Stevens, he's here with us right now. He said the Cerebral Assassin? Cerebral Assassin. What does that mean, man? Assassin, deadly. <laughs> <He's you know? laughs> Sniper, deadly. Dude, 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 who comes up with the names? Like, you know, you got Danny Swift Garcia or Keith One Time um, Thurman. Or... Um, I don't know who came up with their names, but I came up with my own name. Mm -hmm. You know, so we just name ourselves. Like, you know, yeah. and betray, not betray, but... How you see yourself uh, going in the ring, you that's, know, and 
what 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 you're molded to be, you mm-hmm. know, and what you're molded to do when you get in the ring. Yeah. Yeah, so what would you think like your name would be if, if you was a boxer? I don't know, oh, man. I don't... Had to shut the fuck up, B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I wouldn't do too much talking. I wouldn't be good at the press conference. I don't want to talk. Shut the fuck up, B. Yeah. Have to yeah. shut the fuck up, B. I don't up, want to talk. No talking. Yeah? What would I be? Sway? Oh, oh. <laughs> I got, got to think of one. I got to think of one. We'll come up with one. You know, first time I f- saw you fight, we would talk about this on off off air. Was um, when Chris Gotti from yeah. Herb Gotti's brother was managing you, right? Yeah. And you said he got you to go pro. Yeah. And then uh, Dame was a promoter. Dame Dash was a promoter, and y'all had the collective, the Chin Checkers. Yeah. Mm. And y'all was knocking dudes out, right? Mm. What did you think at that time seeing these? Because now when you look at Rock Nation Sports and you see uh, 50 Cent got his promotion company, you see a lot of hip-hop artists getting into it. But back then, you didn't yeah. see a lot of that. What was your thought? What made you take a chance to work with them? Um, I actually knew Chris before, like when I was in the amateurs. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I don't, um, Steven Codgerson, mm-hmm. he was, uh, that was my man Pitt. Like, I knew him uh since I was younger, he was a uh, Shanti's uh, personal trainer, uh-huh. you know. So um, I believe, I believe um, Jay Prince uh-huh. asked um, Rap a lot records. He asked uh, Gotti and um, yo, you, do you know uh, Curtis Stevens? Like you know, uh, so Gotti was and Gotti asked uh, Pitt, like you know what I'm saying, because he knew Pitt was boxing. He's like Pitt, like nah, that's my little man, you know. So we got out with him. He took us to Vegas one time. I think he, took, he took us to Vegas to go see uh, Mayweather fight. Uh-huh. You know, he took us out there. We were chilling and all that. So after that, we just built a relationship up with him. Like, you know, became friends, just kept close. Uh, then I believe I went to um, Brazil, uh-huh. Panama, uh-huh. and tried to make the Olympic team, but I lost in an Olympic qualifier. So after that, I just came back. I was chilling. I wasn't really too in the boxing no more, you know. He called me, like, oh, Kurt, like, you know, what's up? You going pro? I'm like, nah, I'm chilling right now. He's like, oh, Kurt, like, you know, I know you're in the hood, but it's like, yo, you got a God gift talent, you know? Like, mm-hmm. turn pro. So I gave it a second thought, then. And just, he's been fighting, yeah, fighting ever since. He's been fighting ever since. Do people, like, try, like, when you weren't fighting, were people trying to hire you, like, just to take care of problem down the street? You know what I mean? Like, no, Curtis, this dude won't give me my money back. No. They, no, 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 they, they didn't do that. People didn't, growing up, they didn't, people didn't challenge you in terms of fighting at all. Nah, right? not. Not too much. You had, I believe, I had probably about two fights, mm-hmm. like in junior high school, high school. That was about it. You know what I'm saying? But that was like, from, you know, I'm from the hood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was uh, like other people from other hoods, like you know what I'm saying? That we didn't get along with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They knew I box, but they, you know, they street people, so you know how I go on the street. You know, they, everybody still want to test you. You know, until you yeah. bust one side of the head. Yeah, until they go Yikes. to sleep. That's yeah, that's so, what happened mm-hmm. with me in Oakland too. <laughs> 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 That's why I like my mother. Like, yeah, yeah. Curtis, like you ain't got to give away all your secrets, but Sway and I were having this conversation this morning because uh, Keith Thurman called me about food right after the fight. Like, he was so hungry. And Sway was saying, like, boxers are on these training regiments, and they're starving. Like, they, you know, what does your regimen look like? Are you hungry now? Are you? No, no, no. This fight, this fight week. This fight week. Sometimes, like, you know, when... Like before, mm-hmm. like probably like last week or two weeks, I'd probably be hungry, like you know. But you know, you have to stick to a strict diet. But once fight week's here, like you know, I weigh in a uh, Friday, I weigh in Friday afternoon. So you know, once fight week's here, like you know, you zone everything else out. You know, it's time, it's game time. You weigh in right before the fight. Or day before. No, the day, day before. before yeah, day before the fight. The fight. Yeah, oh, day before okay, the fight. okay. Yeah, the fight. All right. Then they eat a lot of food and gain a bunch of weight. What did you think of the uh, Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia fight? Did it turn out the way you thought it would? Some folks are saying Garcia got robbed. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I'm a I'm a fighter first of all. Yeah. You know, um, it was great, excellent fight between both of them. Oh. You know, um, Thurman came out, took the first couple rounds. Uh-huh. Uh, once he secured that bag, the first couple rounds. Now Garcia had to play catch up, you know. They both mm-hmm. were champion, like you know. That's what some people fail to understand. It wasn't that uh, Garcia just was the champion. Thurman was the champion too. They was fighting for both their belts. Uh, after that, Thurman just boxed, you mm-hmm. know. So now Danny got to play catch up, you know. I know some people felt that he ran the last couple rounds, but this is boxing, like you know. We're in there to win, you know. Um, I believe I, I'm a, one time I lost my first fight. I was winning the whole fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, went out the last round. As if I was losing and got caught with a shot, you know. Mm. Referee stopped the fight, you know, premature stoppage, but he stopped it. Uh, so the point I'm trying to make: when you're winning, uh-huh. and you have in your mind that you're winning, 
just go out there the last round and uh, just win convincingly, you know? Uh -huh. You ain't got to go out there and be Superman uh -huh. as if you started the first round. Just win, and that's what uh, Thurman did. You, you fought Triple G. Uh, Lemieux fought, he fought Triple G too, right? Yeah. Um, and I was watching the Triple G fight, and I thought you were doing really well. Yeah. And then you got caught with a few shots. Yeah. Um, what is it about him? Because I, I've always felt like he was, you know, until he fought you, I thought he was overrated. Like, okay. it, is this dude really that powerful? No. Um, is he that strong? Or what, um, what is it about him? He's he's strong. You mm -hmm. know, um, I believe he caught me in the second round with a hook. Mm -hmm. I, I, didn't, I didn't see the shot coming, you know. But it put me down. You know, I got up and continued fighting. Uh, he's strong, but he's not, He's not, I believe, as strong as everyone thinks he is. Like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, he has wear you down power. You know, mm -hmm. if you get hit for uh, eight rounds in certain areas, like, you know, it begins to uh, put fatigue on your body. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but, he, like, he's a he's a great champion, uh, and he has a great uh, ring generalship. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that was it, though. Just, he, just, he just wore me down. I took too many shots, and I wasn't letting my hands go. Mm -hmm. At times, I was letting my hands go. I was, uh, I was being great in the fight, but... I was fighting myself instead of fighting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched that fight. Um, what, who do you, if if you were to make a predictions between Dan, Daniel Jacobs and uh and Triple G, yeah. what, what do you see? Knowing you know knowing boxing, the science of boxing, that's the big fight coming up. Uh, D Danny could box his ass off. Mm -hmm. Um, Glove can uh could fight too. Um, I believe Danny Danny could stay away for twelve rounds. You know he he could win, but it's it's hard to do that. Yeah. Uh, but you know, made the best man win. At made the, the best man day. Win. You know, um, I think for this fight, how's your body? How's your shoulder? How's everything? Oh, everything's good. You one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because my my prediction is, if if Curtis Stevens is one hundred percent, he's going to shock the world against David Lemieux. Um, you got knockout punch power, um, and you know, and it's important to be able to box. You got a lot of st skill, technique, and fundamentals too. But it seems like at this stage. Mm -hmm. What the world would like to see from you is a knockout yeah. of this guy. Is that possible? Is that is that on your mind? Um, it's like I I, I want to knock him out. Like you know yeah. we train we train hard for two months. Uh, I'm not gonna say to go in there to fight this twelve rounds, but we train hard for two months to uh, go in there and just make short work of our opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, if the knockout comes, it comes. I'm not gonna go in there looking for the knockout because when I tend to go in there and look for the knockout, yeah. uh. I'm fighting with myself because I'm just looking for one shot mm -hmm. instead of letting it come with me just letting my hands go. Because, like you said, I have one uh, punch knockout power. Um, you know, if if he sits there, yeah, as we see him come and fight, like you know, mm -hmm. like a raging ball, mm -hmm. he's he's gonna get knocked out. He's gonna get you knocked. Know, out. He's gonna get knocked. Say out. that shit, Curtis. You know? Say that shit loud, man. <laughs> <laughs> Say that shit, man. That's what we wanna hear. He's gonna get knocked. He's out. gonna get knocked out. Brownsville, stand up. All right, we're going to take him for we go. We got J.D. from Brooklyn on the line. J.D., JD what what's poppin'? J to the... Yo, yo, what's good, Sway? I'm just calling in to check on my Brody. Talk to him. 420 with him. We in the building. He know who it is. Go ahead, J.D. It's J.D. from Brooklyn. Yo, what's... Yo, yo Kurt, what's good? J.D., what's good? Ain't nothing, fam. Yo, I, I just want to let Sway and him know I know Kurt for many years. We come from the same era, the, you know what I mean? The same... Brownsville, you know what I'm saying? He always been a champion, and you know he's my family through marriage, and I love the brother, and you know what I'm saying? I wish him all the best come Saturday. He gonna put the knuckles on the dude, though. You know how we do. Yes, indeed. Hey, did y'all like at the family reunions be scared to talk mess to him? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that fuck always been impeccable. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. <laughs> Family reunion, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, J.D., you a citizen, man. It's way in the morning, homie. Man, you got a beautiful left hook, man. That, that, you could, they should put that in the Boxing Hall of Fame, brother. <laughs> Yo, Curtis, I'm glad you came to the show, man. You are always welcome to come thank on you, this show. You, e you, e you, even you, when you, you ain't you, fight, man. Come do something like when these big fights come up, we always have every, everybody been up here from Guerrero to... Mickey Ward has been up here, you okay. know, man, Mayweather, Pacquiao, yeah. all of them. And I've been wanting to have you up here because I see you on that, that same tier as them, man. Thank you, so, thank you, thank you. so um, when other fights come up, come up, man, if you're free, come talk to us about this fighting game. And uh, you don't need luck. You already got all you need to win this, this fight this weekend. I'll be watching thank in your corner, you, brother. Thank you. All thank right, you, man. You.
Curtis Stevens, ladies and gentlemen. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. Kill <laughs>